it's an image I will never get out of my, my, his skin was just hanging and you could see his skull and you could see his artery in his neck. In a matter of minutes, Hunter went from a smiley nine year old to this after being mauled by two dogs. He had over, what did they say, 75 bites all over his body and it took over 200 sutures and 40 staples in his head. A month ago, he was at a neighbor's house outside when their dogs attacked. From head to toe, Hunter was destroyed, raced to the hospital by ambulance. We had an amazing plastic surgeon come in and he He's like, you know, I don't usually promise. He's like, but I'll put your baby back together. Six and a half hours of surgery later, he's now healing slowly. What's up, buddy? How are you, Hunter? How are you feeling? Good? His favorite color used to be red, and he can't look at red anymore. And he can't eat hot dogs, and hot dogs were his favorite because it reminds the, him of the dogs eating him. He told one of the officers that he didn't want to die. I mean, that's how bad and traumatic it was for him. White Lake Township Police Chief Dan Keller says Hunter has touched their department. His officers were on scene that day. My heart breaks for Hunter and what he's had to go through because it doesn't end here. It, this is not where it stops. This is just the beginning for him and his family. As the medical bills mount as high as $20,000 out of pocket for this family, the police department is stepping in, adopting them for the holidays. The Heater family and Hunter shouldn't have to decide between medical bills and a good Christmas. So we're going to provide them a great Christmas. What do you want for Christmas? A moped. A moped? <laughs> the police department is collecting money from their own officers and the community to grant Hunter's every wish. Like I knew we had a good community, but I wasn't expecting this. Hunter will continue to need medical care. There has been a PayPal account set up for donations. You can also drop them off at the White Lake Township Police Department. Reporting in White Lake Township, Jessica Dupnak, Fox 2 News.